the cannabis plant grows almost anywhere. It is found in Asia, China, Malaysia. It's found in the Middle East, it's found in Africa, and it also grows, of course, in Europe and the US. It is used by hundreds, millions of uh, people for the changes it causes in our thoughts, in our behavior, in our feeling. Unfortunately, it is certainly a dangerous drug. It can cause tolerance, it can cause addiction in some cases. Luckily, addiction caused by cannabis is not as potent as that of cocaine and heroin and can be treated uh, relatively with ease. Until uh, quite recently, actually, until the mid-60s, the active constituent was not known. We identified a compound, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, which is the only one that causes these uh, changes. For many years, it was unknown whether these changes uh, are just a non-specific action of, of THC, but in the mid-80s, it was found that there is a receptor in the brain that uh, is acted upon by THC and starts a cascade of reactions which causes the changes that we identify as high. But how come that the brain has a receptor for a plant constituent? After all, uh, the, our brain doesn't have a receptor for every plant constituent, actually it doesn't have a receptor for any plant constituent. So we started working and the assumption that maybe there are compounds in the brain that act on this particular receptor and THC in the plant actually mimics the action of the compounds in the brain. Indeed, about 10, 15 years ago, we were uh, able to isolate two compounds. One we called anandamide and the other is known as 2-AG that stimulate that bind to this particular receptor and they start a cascade of reactions that we identify as high. Why do we have that system of receptor, endogenous cannabinoids? Why? I mean, just in order to cause high? No. This is a very important physiological system which is involved in a large number of uh, physiological reactions and in large number of therapeutic reactions. For example, anandamide and 2-AG are involved in neuroprotection. When we have a brain trauma, for example, the brain tries to reduce the damage by overproducing, if you wish, these compounds which lower the damage. Uh, they are also involved in anxiety. It is involved in sleep. It is involved in essentially all physiological reactions that have been investigated. Chances are that this particular system will uh, be the basis on which uh, a large number of drugs will be developed. At the moment, there is one major drug that has been introduced in Europe. A company produced an antagonist to the cannabinoid system and they use it in order to reduce the appetite and also to enhance metabolism of fats so that ultimately we see an effect on obesity, an effect on all these diseases that are associated with obesity. Many other companies are working on many different aspects of uh, cannabinoids, for example, inflammation, uh, neurological diseases, maybe Alzheimer, and I assume that within the next 10 years we shall have a whole array of new drugs as many companies are at present working on all these aspects.